Today I'm going to be showing you 10 useful model train tips to save you time and frustration that I have unfortunately mostly found out the hard way. Go ahead and start off here. <clears throat> you want to make sure you cut your track the right length. It's better to have it a little bit too long than a little bit too short because as you can see here this piece this one here just a little bit too short so end up having this little uh, piece in the middle there that's bad fortunately I don't want to buy a new piece of flex just to fix that so I'm just leaving that for there but you cut it a little bit longer than you think you need it and because when I cut this I thought it was the right length but I cut it the length that I thought I needed it turned out it was too short. If you can, try to avoid combining several pieces of track into one piece. This is just a mild example of some of the things that I used to have but I've ended up uh, replacing because I had too many problems. Before I would have like a piece and like another piece then like another piece and then keep going. Ended up, every time ended up replacing it. So if you can, just use a big piece of flex track rather than several small ones you have lying around because most likely you'll end up having problems and having to replace it anyway. When you're building a section of your layout, do it right the first time. This section here, I've replaced it probably about five times due to the first time I kind of cheaped out. I just used what I had lying around and didn't work. Tried it again, used what I laid had lying around, didn't work. Done that several times. I finally think I'm getting it to where it's nice and smooth, not having problems. But don't cheap out if you can. Do it right the first time. I had like several different pieces of uh, foam here. I had like wood and all kinds of crazy stuff. Do it right the first time. Spend a little bit extra time and it will hopefully, should, help you in the long run. Still over here in this same scene, which I've obviously had a lot of problems with, test your track before you secure it. Uh, like If you're like me, and you're using uh, glue, or like hot glue or something, instead of track nails, test it before you secure it. If you can, just like stick a little bit of track nails down it, run trains, make sure everything works out fine, then secure it down. Save you a lot of time from having to rip it back up and stuff. I've had done that so many times and it ends up getting glue all over your track and all over the roadbed. And it's just not fun. So, test it before you secure it. When you're starting a new layout, plan out your layout before you start building it. Over here on my switching layout portion of the layout, I planned out all the track using a uh, just like a free track planning software you can get online. Planned it all out, everything fit nice and perfectly. Knew exactly what I needed. But unlike my main layout over there, did not. And I had a lot of fun, or lack of fun, fixing problems and buying stuff over again because I didn't plan the first time. And ended up having to replace stuff. So if you plan it the first time, it will often save you time and money from having to redo things because you could have planned. I mean if you use just a free thing online it doesn't cost anything. When you're testing your trains make sure you test them running at slow and fast speeds as fast as you're comfortable going and make sure you test your most problematic cars and locomotives. Right here in front of me the uh, two things in the intermodal yard, the Auto Rack and the Indiana Railroad SD40-2. Those are my two most problematic cars. And you want to test those. Make sure you test them thoroughly. And make sure those run. If they run, pretty much everything else should run. But test as much, as many different things as you can to make sure everything runs nice and smooth before you finalize and secure it down permanently. You want to make sure you have the right tools for the job. If you're going to be working on locomotives and rolling stock and assembling things, you always want to have a nice set of files. 
I've lost a few. Uh, and a, uh, something that's also very useful, it's a little uh, drill. Just a little hand drill. It's very small, uses insanely small drill bits. But if you're, and you also want to have these, but if you're just going to be doing general work, maybe replacing a coupler every now and then, changing out wheel sets, you always want to have uh, screwdrivers. I have a nice set of screwdrivers. It'll prevent you from stripping screws, trying to do what I do and use a uh, knife or whatever you have just lying around because you don't have the proper screwdriver. And it will save you a lot of time. Don't be afraid to try new things. If you aren't happy with something, you can always try again. Like have you can see here, I wasn't too happy with how the uh, static grass and little clumpy things turned out. So I just, a little test place in the corner and had in a little spot there. But went ahead and just tried out, see if I like something different a little bit better. If you like it better, just go in with it. You want to also make sure when you're doing testing things, you do it in small sections. Like, as you can see, I've done this big strip down here. And it turns out, don't really like it all that much. So, trying something different, and hopefully I end up liking it better. can replace what I don't like with what I do like. So make sure, don't be afraid to try new things and try new things in small sections. When you're working on a project or you're trying to do something on your layout and you don't know how to do it, check YouTube. Just Google it in YouTube or search it in YouTube, Google it, whatever. Oftentimes someone else will have that same problem and someone will have a solution for that same problem. If not, you can always find a forums or just chat and ask that question there and you'll often get a reply and it's just very useful I've learned everything I know off of the internet mostly YouTube it's a very good place to learn how to do many things and it's overall pretty good and you'll find websites you'll meet people so yeah internet it's very good so there are 10 tips that I have thought up that I would have liked to know in the first place that I have found out through trial and error that would be very helpful if I had known in the first place. I generally want to give these things a, at least a try and think about them. Oh, usually most of these things will help in the long run and save you time, money, and frustration that you would have spent if you had not given them a thought. So that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed and found helpful. Leave a comment down below on what you think, and I'll see you next time.